Hello, I'm Enid Elliott, and I live in Canada, in Victoria, British Columbia. And here, it's customary to acknowledge first, the land and the people who've been here for time immemorial. So I live on the territory of the Lekwungen speaking peoples who've been here for thousands of years and care deeply for their children as well as the land. And I have been interested in Emmy Pickler's ideas for over 30 years now. Along with a colleague, I set up the first infant toddler program here in Victoria, BC over 30 years ago. It was a child care center for young mothers in an alternative high school program. And we were guided by Emmy Pickler's principles of respect, reciprocity, and relationship. Working with these concepts, we developed a program that honored the capabilities of babies as well as those of their, of their young mothers. I, I wrote about this work in a book called we're Not Robots, which was based on my doctoral dissertation. And over the years, I've continued to study the work of Emmy Pickler and her thinking can be a critical guide for working with infants and toddlers in group care. Presently, I teach an infant-toddler course at Camosun College here in Victoria, and I share Pickler's ideas with the students connecting her work to attachment theory and the importance of building thoughtful relationships. I encourage students to see the value of collaborating with children by listening and slowing down to connect deeply. This is complicated work. Emmy Pickler had a vision of a world based on peaceful relationships and central to her vision for children was free movement along with free play. Believing that children know what is important for their own learning and their own growth, Dr. Pickler trusted them to know what tasks they needed to explore, whether standing up and taking a step or fitting a small cup inside another cup or climbing a flight of stairs. She believed children would become confident learners. She said, it's crucial that children discover as much as possible on their own. If we assist them in accomplishing every task, we deprive them of the single most important aspect of their development. A child who achieves things through independent experimentation acquires an entirely different kind of knowledge than does a child who has ready-made solutions offered to them. She challenges us to allow young children to discover their own ways of learning and being and encourages us to slow down and really see and appreciate all that a baby is doing. Her thinking is indeed a gift to us.